guys so today i'll be explaining my code on my electronic hymn now what i call for short e him e him this is my github report so i already created an instructable on how to create this device yourself this is just, i'm just going over the code for people that are interested in the code so let's go to the code go to the dot inner file so leave all this here are the libraries I used. So on this libraries you have to install it. Some of them do not commit the commits Arduino. Like when you install when you install ES is bot. Some of these libraries don't commit it. Like Arduino GC doesn't commit it. DF mini MP3 player by Mac by Macuna doesn't commit it. And Elegant OT also doesn't commit it. So you have to install those libraries. So that first I got a dynamic JSON document called hymns. Give the size of 200 I got a JSON object of that same dynamic JSON document hymns. So I created this JSON object of hymns. So now this class MB notify. Now this class comes with a lot of functions that allows you to communicate with the MP3 player. Mostly it mostly gets responses back from the MP3 player. But if you check the instructable page, I will use the TX pin. Of the of serial one in on ESP to sixes, so I can only transmit data to the MP3 player. I cannot, I cannot receive data from it. So this class is useless. But when I tried removing the, when I tried removing the class, the code it doesn't to work. The MP3 player doesn't seem to work. I don't know how to go around this. I just left it there. But all this code here is useless to this project. So I'm going to skip that. You could hear this trick here. I found this trick online I don't remember YouTube channel I'll drop a link to it so a guy created a, created a way to allow allow people to like turn off shadow print and turn it on it, when you're using shadow print it kind of slows down your code if you try it you can try sometime don't use shadow prints at all at all in your code your code is going to move faster than normal when you add the shadow print it's going to be slower but we need shadow print for debugging I use it to debug my code. So I know if I change this one to zero and I upload the code, I'm going to be seeing different shadow of prints. So I, I want I turn it off when I'm done with my, I turn when I'm done with my code because it's affecting the speed at which my web server loads. So it's a good idea to turn it off anytime anytime I'm using a web server. So for one it's off, zero is on. I know it's kind of opposite, but we can work with that. You can actually change that yourself if you want. So this string is society the default thing for the for the device e him string no password let's let I left the password empty this is DNS port I mean DNS port 53 that is domain and system port so IP address or IP address I'm using DNS server so I can give my device a domain name I'm going to get the semester so my, my web server at port 80 and busy pin is the busy pin of the of the mp3 player so when it's zero that means it's low it's busy when it's one high that means it's not busy so i use that later in the code i'm going to go into it before i go to this function if i go to this function server handles i want to go to the void setup first so let's skip all this and go into the void setup so the rest of the first, the first part of the code that we run actually so go to delay 1000 post for one second before starting the whole code and Shadow print 11.5-100 This shadow is begin 11.5-100 You have to initialize the serial monitor Begin the mp3 player Make this pin as input Because it's an input pin for us I'm using access points mode So soft config conf config I configure my soft access point Put the IP address So this is I used to mount the little fs and this now when I first um when you first turn on the device the first time the first time you upload the code it's going to search for the hymn numbers the hymn numbers in the hymn numbers are like the hymns that you wanted to play so when you log into the web page let's log let's log into the web page let's connect to the device the device is currently on now oh sorry other network so you see e him here you 
Kena saya successful. Okay. I think we are connected. Let's open another tab and type ehim.com. Okay now. So let's go in here. This the him numbers are the numbers I type in here for the hymns I wanted to play. One, two, three, and I put four. And I submit the form. The thing is that so when the code first starts, it checks if those file if that file exists. If this file exists, so that when I was opening the hymn numbers or chasing. But inside that hymn number, I also store the password and the and the SSID for the device. So you guys open that file to check if there's a password for the device and give it that password. Or if, if there's an SSID and give it that SSID. Instead of instead of the default SSID, which is e him So you open this is just the code to open the file and visualize the JSON document. So you come with SSID. Now check if this SSID key exists. If it doesn't exist, I give it the default name in him. If if it exists it's going to append e him to the current name, the current SSID. The same goes to the password. If the, if the password does not exist, that means there's no password. We're going to give it the default password of one to one to eight. One to eight. But if if it exists, we're going to give it the password that I stored on the ESP to sixes. So I print them out. And I start my soft AP soft, soft, soft access points with the SSID and the password. This this part of the code is just to configure our domain name system server, our DNS server. So this is where I put the the website name, the domain name ehim.com. So instead of typing IP address, I just type ehim.com. So you can try typing the IP address in your browser and open the same the same page for you. So this is just to set most things up. IP address, point to IP address for you. So you can see IP address. We don't really need this point to IP address. You can already know the domain name ehim.com. We have our server handles. I'm going to go into that soon. Then we have our elegant OTA.begin server. So this is just basically to attach OTA to our device so you can easily update the code wireless without having to plug it in. This is a library that I found on github easy to install you can find it on Arduino library manager and this is the server that begin begin the server and I print HTTP, HTTP server started and let's go to our server handles that so now this is our various server handles let's start from the first one the first in the app so when we go to ehim.com this slash it brings sends the index of HTML file I have a function that sends the file to the web server so it sends in this file and this is the content type test HTML. So when you type ehe.com, you get index.html file. So now the index.html we need index.html we need other files, which are the styles, index of the JavaScript files, hymn.json. This contains the list. The this part of PNG is the logo. This list list dot mean dot js is what's helping to create those lists so I can search through lists. I use the JavaScript library for that. This is for other when I request for other pages, like when I request for input of HTML, it sends this page and also sends the required file for if you, if you need a CSS file, send it also to it. You should just, just handle the requests that, that, that the web server will request for. So, the web server will request for some files. I will put it against the web server request for some files. When I do like ehim.com, for example, now you're going to go to the index of HTML by default. Index of HTML will, will require some files. That is the styles, the JavaScript files. So there are already handles or functions to handle them for us here. That's what this function does do. So anytime the website requests a file, just send in the file I'm requesting for. So this is our on slash input. Now this input like a request coming from our controls page. So when we, when we submit a form, it takes us to our controls page. This is our controls page to play the various hymns. Let's go back now. If the rest when I press this button, it sends a response entrance. So that's what I think is going to check for. 
if if it responds equals to entrance it's going to play the hymn it's going to play the hymn and the whatever is stored at the response the same thing happens for this other like the response is going to come as him entrance and entrance is like if response equals to entrance so him entrance you have the entrance him is stored like the JSON key where the entrance him is stored same thing goes for offer tree also so when the response equals to offer tree him's offer tree is going to play that him him that is stored at the JSON key him offer tree is going to play the him stored there same thing goes to communion and closing him but for this is our special hymn, like our Father in Latin, our Father in English, the Creed in English, the Creed in Latin, Gloria in English, Gloria in Latin. So when it, when the response equals to our Father Latin, you just the F, use the plus play the track 500. So it's, it's stored that name of our Father in Latin, the file is 500 MP3. So it plays the track. The same thing happens for all this other, you just play the track number. If you go back to this, our entrance coming of our name, notice um, it's a toy that is going to convert the, like, the char array to an integer for us. That would attack it because the DF mp3 dot play mp3 folder track only takes integers. So I think we're done with that set. So there's a function to handle, handle volume, handle the volume. This function handling the volume so I can adjust the volume. So anytime I send the volume, it actually send the volume to the Arduino. Arduino can adjust the volume for you. Now this server on hymns is the one that handles the request. This form I submit on the first page, which is our home. If I go back home, this is a form. When I submit the form. The form has a I call it the URL slash him. So this is data that comes. So I have I've named those various text boxes, given their name as well as entrance of a tree communion clues. I do not can search for those names and get the data that was inputted to them. So if I were to put one, I put one in this, in this entrance him and I submit, I'm going to get one here. So I'm with him entrance now because the one. Same thing for offer tree, communion and for closing. So I then save the file to my little fs, shall I convert it to JSON and save them to my little fs. So when you are done with that form, it send it send you input, it send you input of HTML and it takes you to the control page. That's the input of HTML. Um, this is when I submit a form. Let's try submitting this form again. I'm going to take you to the control page. Press submit. See, it bring us here. That what this that what this line of code is doing here sending us to that control where we can control the e him our electronic him now this last one is details details are just the ssid and the password this is another form again this is the url for the form you go to our web page go to change password this is the page for changing our password so you type in the device name old password and new password you have to know the old password you can change the password else it wouldn't work all that is done in the javascript side of the code so when i put in my details it's going to get the data from me so i've given those this text boxes name like ssid and new pass so when i when you submit a form the Arduino web server will check for any type name ssid and get the data attached to it so i type my name pios is going to get the name pios and store it and store it in him's ssid if i type anything in new pass it's going to get if i name anything new pass it's going to get data stored in new pass and assign it to this json key here him pass let's go to the web pass so if i type pios here i have no old password the old password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the current new password I'm to give it now. Let's let me let's give it eight seven six five four three two one. If it's matched, then me see password matched to the old password. So it will change the password for me. So it's going to disconnect us soon as I've changed the password. 
come I don't need the web page anymore okay so when we do that I will start the supposed to take you back to the control page it's what I did here we did this send file input of HTML then I will start the ESP so that's where I can take in the new SSID and password and this send file function I'll be seeing so I'll be seeing send file uh, this is what it's actually doing here the send file function takes the file name and the content type so it basically just sends the file to the web server using server.stream file to send the file to the web server so I basically what it prints buffer it prints what I stored in the buffer probably the file name I create a buffer and I store this, this is going to be in my buffer so you're going to put file name if it was in that index of html to print index of html file sent it's this print to this buffer then i print to my share monitor with this debug name debug link buffer for it save does help me save my file to to the space to the little fs or not spiffs i'm not using spiffs i prefer little fs so the save function does save the file for us to any file we give it we save it to our little fs so that is basically all for the code it's a very simple code the last thing be our void loop we're just handling the server the server and the dns server also which is our domain name system server so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section thank you and see you next time and before i go remember i would leave a link to instruct article ensure an instructable article you can check the video you can check the instructable if you want to make this project yourself i put the, the schematics if you want you i also put the geba files where you can design your own print order your own board from any pcb service you use so once again thank you guys and see you next time bye